Hey y'all, it's David the Dog Trainer, good to see you. This is a very quick video. I'm working with a, a dog that I met a few months ago here in my neighborhood. Sunny, come. Her name's Sunny. Sit, good. I train with rewards. Primarily, I will use food, especially in the beginning of the training and especially with dogs. Obviously, praise, games, toys whenever you're done all that stuff works as well but we're going to be using food to reinforce good behavior and to teach new habits sunny good job so the name game say the dog's name give them a treat or in this case just give them some of their kibble leave it there are some distractions or motivators here in this yard like bird seed sunny good girl so right now we're going to use the name game sit oh you got a little bite there something chewing on you Let's let her deal with that for a minute. Oh, good job. I'll reward that calm behavior with praise. Good girl, good girl, good job. Okay, you wanna play, but I wanna train. Come on. So I'm gonna train her, or I'm gonna work with her so she learns to walk on the right side of the handler. So we're just gonna do some walking here. I want her on my right. Good girl, come on, yeah, good job. So the tricky thing with walking with dogs and timing your rewards is, figuring out which hand is going to actually give the rewards. So I would say, use your right hand if your dog's on the right. Sunny, good girl, and reward them at their level. I don't want her jumping up to get the food because that reinforces jumping, or it certainly might. Sunny, good girl, sit. Uh -uh. Sunny, leave it. Sunny, sit. Good job, very good job. So. If the dog is doing something I don't like, uh, I can ignore it, or I'll use a noise like ah, 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 to try to interrupt the behavior I'm not fond of, okay? So we're gonna be rewarding stuff we like, using praise and food as rewards, interrupting behavior we don't, or ignoring behavior we don't like, okay? Here we go, Sunny, come on. Good job. Good, come on, leave that. This way, leave it. Sunny, good job. So, she's getting pretty good at looking up to me when I say her name. Leave that alone, come on. She's probably so bored at walking in this circle, but I'm trying to show you a few tricks. Good girl. So you can start to work with your dog if your dog has problems on the leash, meaning, you know, they're just rambunctious, unruly, whatever. You know, how would you, what if you were on a leash? Would you want to be dragged around? You might be all over the place too, right? We have to understand that a dog's behavior, we call it unruliness or misbehavior or they don't know how to walk on a leash, but you know, they're walking on a leash. It's, it's a little odd, right? There's, they're literally being, they're on a leash, which really restricts freedom. So we want to teach them to understand that being on a leash, there are certain things, there are rules, there are restrictions, but there are also opportunities for rewards and there's structure, especially when walking. Good job, catch her in the act of doing something good, like offering a sit. Ready, let's go. Good job. I'll reward that because she was nice and close by, even looked up at me, this way. Good job. So especially early on in training, I use a lot of kind of turning, right? I just, I'm turning to my left, yeah? But in a minute or two, I might try turning in front of her, which looks like that. Because I want her to get aware that I have legs and that I will move in random. And then there's a jump up, I'm gonna ignore that, okay? Nope, come on, you gotta come with me. Yeah, good job. She wanted to poop out, oh, there's some jumping, gonna ignore that. Sunny, good girl, sit, good job. So like I said, ignore bad behavior. In the beginning, you can also use an interruption sound. For me, it's just, ah, ah, something like that sit for me that's better than using like a word like no that's just me that's personal that's what I do okay let's do a little bit more ready let's walk try to keep her calm ish good girl good job Sunny let's go this way good job right here now I also use you know sounds noises kissy sounds uh, clicks stuff like that sounds like I'm talking to a horse maybe good girl but I'm just trying to get her used to hearing these verbal cues that will she'll learn and she'll associate when she hears that noise just like when she hears her name she knows that that name if she does something when she hears her name 
Did you spit out that treat? If she looks at me when she hears her name, she gets praise and rewards and other things, and that's why we'll get more attention from the dog, because you're motivating them with rewards. Ready, Sunny? Let's go. Hi, good girl, good job. Nope, we're gonna ignore that, right? Good job. Nope. Ah, ah. So the other thing you can work on is, that's called canceling the reward. I'm sure it's called different things to different folks, but here's a really good example of that. So if I show the treat, immediately when she goes to grab it, people call that shark mouth, whatever. If she lunges at the treat, that's basically a no-no in my opinion. So I remove, the, I remove it absolutely as fast as I can.